Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 60. In this training tutorial, we're gonna take a look at using our flat shift feature once again, but this time we're gonna be learning how we can implement it based on a strain gauge or a load cell that we'll find either on a shift knob or a shifter lever with a sequential or a dog box transmission. This allows us to do clutchless upshifts which is something we most likely want to go and implement on that type of transmission so we have uh, better ET at the drag strip or better lap times if we're in a circuit car. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can learn how to work with our flat shift feature in a strain gauge. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up and working with our flat shift shift cut feature within our Haltech Elite using our NSP software. This tutorial is gonna vary from the last tutorial we looked at setting up our flat shift using a clutch switch input. This is gonna be based around setting up our flat shift shift cut based around a load cell or strain gauge input. And that's gonna be primarily used when we're dealing with a sequential transmission or a dog box transmission. It's gonna be an H pattern where we actually have to row it through the gears. Sequential, we're finding that's just gonna be an up and down movement in our shifter position. So. A load cell, a strain gauge. You may not know what these terminologies mean. What is this exactly? Well, in motorsports, we run load cells and strain gauge for a variety of reasons. When we're talking about a load cell or strain gauge, it's gonna measure the level of stress or strain that's placed into an object. And it's gonna be sending out a proportional amount of voltage from that load cell strain gauge circuit based on how much stress or strain the device that we're working with is going to see. So in the case here of a transmission, we'll find the load cell or strain gauges are placed either in the shift knob or they're bonded to the shift lever. And depending if we're pushing or pulling that shift lever, we're putting a certain level of stress or strain into that shift knob or shift lever. And the strain gauge or load cell can measure that, so to speak. It's gonna be sending a voltage output, either a high or a low voltage, depending on how much stress or strain we place when we're making a shift happen. Now we can initiate our shift cut based on a certain level of voltage threshold that we're meeting to initiate the shift. This is different than the flat shift shift cut feature with a clutch switch. We have to actually clutch in and initiate that on the clutch pedal. This would be completely full throttle shifting without doing any clutching. So it's clutchless upshifting and with a sequential transmission we can even do clutchless downshifting. So we definitely wanna run the load cell strain gauge and be able to accomplish uh, the shift cut feature based around setting up everything for that load cell or strain gauge. It's pretty straightforward and simple. I'm gonna walk you through some details that we definitely need to know and how I set up all the vehicles that have a strain gauge that I work with. Let's jump in here and take a look at how to configure everything. So the first thing we're gonna do here is move from our fuel tuning page over into main. Now in here, let's go to our navigation tree. And recall in the last tutorial, we went here into our uh, transmission area and we set up here in the functions, the flat shift feature. The flat shift allows us to initiate this flat shift, full throttle shifting, also known as shift cut. This allows us to actually turn that feature on. If we go here into the transmission and we go down here under flat shift, we have all of our details here configured just as we found in that last tutorial, talking about that clutch switch or a flat shift switch that we wired in, essentially a clutch switch, that's initiating the shift to happen based around our clutch pedal movement. So we have a switch that's tracking the position of the clutch pedal that can be triggered when we push the clutch pedal in a certain level of travel. We don't wanna do that. We wanna have clutchless upshifts, and this, again, is only going to be used for dog box transmissions or for sequential transmissions. So if you have a, a synchro style transmission, this isn't something that you're gonna be able to use. It's purely for a dog engagement or a barrel style engagement as we find with a sequential transmission type of transmission. Now, let's go in here and take a look at some things that are specific for working with this type of uh, cut or condition. The very first thing we wanna do here is go into the flat shift area here in the mode. Before, we had this set here on while active. Now, while active would be when we have that clutch switch or the flat shift switch enabled, we have that cut present. When we come off the pedal, we want that activation to end, and that's when we use the while active option here. So when we're talking about dealing with a load cell or strain gauge, we're going to do it based on a timed cut. A timed cut means that we want to initiate the cut for a certain period of time, and it's going to be very specific to, on an H pattern, the gear that we're going to be in. So if we're pulling from first to second, second to third, or third to fourth, in an H pattern formation. The shift time will actually vary a little bit 
based on how your gating is and how your H pattern shifting is going to be. For dealing with sequential transmission, it's gonna be much more consistent. On a sequential transmission, we're simply gonna have a lever that we bump up or down to initiate the shift. We don't have that side to side movement where we have to do the pulling or pushing and moving in that H pattern format. So the timed aspect here will be a little bit different for H pattern style shifting or sequential style shifting going back and forth, but we wanna go and have the cut, the amount of time we wanna actually have our shift cut based on a timed event. And we typically plot that versus gear as we're gonna discuss here as we go through and setting. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel so make sure you subscribe and click here thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later